Hi, it's Rita. So today I am going to talk to you about how to add a new opt-in form to your website using ActiveCampaign. And I'm going to show you just how simple it is. So you're going to log into your ActiveCampaign um, account. You're going to first create a new list, which I already did, and it's very simple. And then you'll just go to Forms, create a new form, and um, then I'm going to just call this one optimize your inbox because I'm going to so we're going to the action is to subscribe them to a list and then we're going to look for the list and well let me just top it in oh there it is right there optimize your inbox so now we're going to say create and the editor is going to open and um, just a few seconds as you can see it's working so this is the standard opt-in that you would have and there's many ways to to modify this so what we're going to do is we're going to just start from the beginning so usually I will take this out right away and I also will take out this and I just like to add um, your name right here or I'll do full name or something like that I just like to have everything on you know inside of it versus having the um, header on top so we'll just do that and then for here we can just update this text to anything anything we want so optimize your inbox with daily prompts I don't know so I would adjust that later obviously but um, then the next thing is the submit form and usually the submit text I would put something like um, yes I want whoops I want to optimize my inbox and then I like to do the little arrows so um, that's there and then you see this was under the fields tab and that's kind of where it goes and then we'll go to the style so you'll see you can pick two different styles there's this one or you could pick the inline style which most people really like this so I think it just really depends on the page that you're going to add it to and um, for this page because I'm going to do something like um, like this site where it's side by side you know where there's an image and then there is the text beside it I'm going to stick with this design and the background you can make it transparent so right here and that way if you put it on color it's not a big deal and usually you know you can change your your text to any color you want and then you can um, mess around with the borders. You can increase the width. So sometimes I'll go to 600 because I like the wide, um, the wide ones. Like for instance, on this one, I like it to align with the text. So if this is um, shorter than it, it just looks to me visually. It just looks like it needs a little bit of cohesive action there so I would I like to always make sure that it's the same width as the text that I'm going to be using now if we want to adjust the color of the uh -oh, we went back into the to the wrong area we need to get over to the style there we go so the button the button background is this and let's say oh, I don't know my colors offhand but um, let's change them. There we go. And you would just enter your text code right, your hex code right here, and then you can adjust the borders and you can adjust the the um, the corner radius is how much of a curve your so you can kind of take it into a circle or an oval if you really wanted to so um, honestly I like mine to have zero to no curve but that's just my personal preference and 
Um, the next thing that I do, as you can see on this one, I like my button to be the same width as the fields. So in, in Active Campaign, this makes it really easy for you to increase the, um, or to do a selector based on CSS. So if you also wanted it to be like that, then you could just use the inspector and it will pick the element. And then for this, I just used with 100%, bam. And then I'm gonna turn the um, Active Campaign branding off and so for instance if I wanted to um, also if I wanted to make this text centered then I could just come in here and say text align center and that's it so it's pretty simple and then the next thing that I would do oh the options. So the next thing is you can show a thank you page and we're going to get into thank you pages tomorrow and um, I'm going to show you the one um, that I used for the detox optimization or detox thank you is what it is so it was right there and the detox thank you you may or may not have you know went to this page because I was in the I was promoting before I had the page done so it just is a basic page that it would direct them to this page right away so I would add the URL here and then if you really wanted to get into um, some of the details it's under the options tab and you can look at it right here like the confirmation information so you would just it's going to show you oh it says thanks for signing up that's not really you know that amazing so do we want to bypass that or what do we want to do and one thing that I like to do is I tell people to so you could redirect it if you really wanted to um, I tell people to just try this out you know make sure that it is set up the way that you want it before you go sending it out to other people or you know promoting it all over the place test it out you know sign yourself up make sure that everything is set up exactly the way that you want it and then go ahead and um, and promote it there have been many times where people have come to me saying oh no I'm promoting and my my stuff is not working and this is a good way to just verify so you can do a couple of different things if you want to add this in here you can do the simple embed which is really easy and that's the way that I prefer to do it so the reason why is I'm, I lost my page. Um, oh, it's over here. So, if you just click and paste it in here, and I'm using DB because that is the theme that I use for this website. If you just click and paste it in here, it is JavaScript, and you just say save and exit, and then you would publish your page and as you can see um, this I didn't use a landing page or anything for um, for this this is all just I just built this on DV you can make landing pages really simple on DV without having to um, create a new you know without having to get lead pages without having to get a new thing to send them off of your website you can actually do this on your own so right here it's just showing the um, this is showing it so if we go back to active campaign and we edit the form uh, I'm going to show you why this is the best way to do it so let's let's edit the the form uh, the button color just so that we can see in action what exactly is going to happen. So we're going to integrate it and now the button is going to be purple and if I just refresh this page 
the changes were saved inside of Active Campaign, and I did not have to go back into my website to make sure that um, I updated the code because if I would have, um, if I would have used this, then I would have had to change it. If um, you know, this is for if you're sending them to an outside link. It, you know, for this, you would have to update the plugin and all of this. So honestly, my recommendation is to use the simple embed and it will update everything for you should you make changes to the form. And that's why it's really good to do the testing inside of, um, you know, while it's on your website to make sure that it's running smoothly, running the way that you want it to run. And one last tip that I like to add is that you should check it on different browsers as well. I personally use Firefox as my main one, but that's because I'm a designer and it has some developer features that go with it. So I know that a lot of people prefer to use Chrome and that's perfectly fine, but go and test your website and your forms on other pages or on other browsers because sometimes there's a conflict, you know, there's a conflict and, um, and your browser may be cached and that means that it's saving all of your old data so that when you go to this new browser you might see things that you didn't realize needed to be updated and changed. So definitely before you launch, check in other browsers and um, sign up for your list a couple of times using different emails. You know, you can always delete yourself and then re-add yourself after you make a changes and adjustments. But creating a new form in in active campaign is so simple and um, and I just want to encourage you all to sign up for it because it's such an amazing tool and um, and I think that you will love it because it's so simple um, if you have any questions let me know and have a great day